Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing the end of month flips for my planners. So as y'all have seen in my last plan with me, maybe two plan with me now at this point. Um, I haven't really been in my planners this month. I haven't really been productive this month. Um, a lot's just been going on. And so with that, my planner stack has been a little um, scarce. So I have been using my GM and medium ring agendas for... Um, all month, I practically use my GM every day. Uh, the medium, maybe like once or twice a week, which is normal um, because this is my academic planner. So I figured because there's not too many changes, I would just share like the planner update of like what I'm currently using and how the sheets look because that's the purpose of my end of month flips. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into November. So this stays open on my desk, um, right below my work computer so I can look at it every day. And I started to get a little bit more decorative, which I'm really liking just like the simple decorations. It's not overwhelming and it's just kind of fun. Um, and it's still functional, but I love just adding the little planner spot stickers that I get from the subscription kits in here. And I've actually liked adding in washi. I didn't think I would. And so um, you might see that a little bit more. We will see. It all really depends. But overall, I, I have really been liking using um, the kits in here. And so that's new this month. Um, anything that's going on is typically up top. Um, any dates typically have an icon unless it's like a game. And then I started adding these little arrows. And then started using these to-do lists in here just because I went down to one planner technically. Um because this is only academic so I needed to put a place with all my lists so I just have this in here and so um, that's what I've been using these for and I honestly kind of like it so here's the current week that I'm filming this is the last full week of November and I just did a plan with me for my birthday week and I think I switched things up a little bit when it comes to the stickers I will be traveling so this is more for reference and travel planning prior to leaving I'm not going to take this agenda with me and I'm going to take my laptop with me because it's my birthday I'm off and I'm going to enjoy it so yeah um here is what this looks like and then that is um, November. So that is the few pages. I don't really use down here. We use like a little bit in October to decorate like with icons. So show you a little bit more, but otherwise I like having lines and structure. I think one week yeah, I put like for work, the flight info stickers and hotel info that I didn't fill out, but I put those stickers down there. So. If anything, that's if I need to put like sticky notes or anything, that'll probably be my dedicated spot for sticky notes. Just haven't really needed it yet. So yeah, that is the GM, my main planner. So we're gonna move that back to the dedicated spot. And then let me show you all my medium ring. I have been thinking about adding some monthly inserts in there just because I really need, I feel like a monthly view with, I feel like there's just so many things going on. So that might be the next video you'll see. Um, and by my, it's like more than likely, um, just because I need like a monthly view. So I need to find which inserts I want to use. I kind of want to set up some new inserts. So we'll look around at what I purchased throughout the year, what I have probably laying around and we'll go from there. So yeah, here's the academic planner. So I have some dots in here, task card, sticky notes. And then I think I did an updated video on this and nothing's changed. So I have my schedule. Um, the CEO tabs from cloth and paper, or not CEO, the essential tabs from cloth and paper. So first section is schedule. So I have my inbox and outbox. My inbox is my weekly inserts, and these are from Louis Vuitton. Yes, these are technically for 2021, but I've been using them um, for, I didn't switch from last week. Uh, I'm filming this at the beginning of the week, but I didn't. I wanted to try these out like the style and I really like it so I ordered these for 2024 and I got the 2021s for this year and I'm just enjoying them so this is my academic planner um the only things that I really put in here are like when I have like I had a meeting for my dissertation I had a few checklists and then I have like my deadlines in here so it's pretty simple I'll primarily be using these inserts for like my dissertation, I think that's when I'm gonna start writing a little bit more in them. But right now, um, I have like a rhythm with school going, and so um, it's just marking if I'm studying all day, highlighting what I'm what I need to do, and then any assignments that I need to complete. So 
It's been pretty simple. I can go back and show you all the previous ones too. And then for the Outbox, I have, oh, I said I was gonna switch these and I never did, so I'll switch those later. No, let's switch it now so that way I'll get the flip. Um, for the Inbox, I have these This Month inserts from Infinite Lotus and um, this is definitely going to be used for my dissertation and tracking where I'm at, when things are due, when I've submitted, when I need to like revise, anything like that. So that is now my official inbox. Um, and I started it with this month because I'm also working on my proposal and that way too I can track like how long I've started to work on things. So I'm officially starting the proposal outline. And so this will be for November, but that way I can just have high level overview for everything in the inbox and the outbox will be like weekly breakdowns. And I know if you saw that video, I said that <laughs> that's what I was going to do and I forgot to do it until now. So that is now done. After this, we have the project tab or project inserts from Infinite Lotus. I'm going to be using these to break down different sections. So this first one will be for my proposal outline. That's the first item that I have to do to form my ch uh, committee since I already have my chair. So I'll break down everything that I need, like requirements, and then um, everything that I need to do with a due date. Uh, this will be more of like a goal due date just because um, it really is just like typing up a overview of what I think my dissertation is going to be, sending it to like gain interest, form the committee, and I can take notes in here. And then I'll use these for the different chapters and things that I have to do. So that's under notes and lists. And then under finance, we have meeting notes. So um, I will have several meetings with like my chair and my committee. And so I can keep track of it. I have these meeting notes in here from Infinite Lotus that I can keep track of, so, uh, of everything. So sorry with my first meeting, which happened this month. So we have that. And then y'all have seen this before, so I don't wanna go over it again, but this is the notes for my dissertation. So I have it broken down by, and if you haven't, I'll link the video below where I go in depth into this um, setup, but this is broken down by chapter of the dissertation and then um, like defense and breakdown. So I have all of that in here. And yeah, that is the setup. So very simple to the point. I haven't used all of this obviously since I haven't really started my outline. So it's primarily just been in these um, weekly inserts where I've been working on my uh, tasks right now. So that is that. And then that is the two main planners. So keeping it very simple right now, that's kind of what life is requiring. So I don't over overcomplicate my planner system. That's what I try and push um, every end of month flip is do what works best for you, even if it changes every month. As you all see, my lineup changes every month on what I'm using, how I'm using it. It could be the same inserts and I might be using it a different way. Sometimes it just happens. So do what works best for you. And yeah, other than that, that is going to be it for this video. If you all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.